a voter really wants to know, uh, am I registered, where do I vote, and what's on the ballot? So the goal is over time to actually drill down deeper and allow a voter to be able to, by going to Google, answer those questions very simply. So what we were able to do was to allow a voter to click on a map of the state, look at their county, and actually see where their early voting location was, what the hours were for that early voting location, and also then to take another map of the state and click on their county and see a video that demonstrated how their voting machine worked in their county. I have been handling both my Facebook and my Twitter uh, account myself. Um, there's some dangers to that, one of which is that you drive your communications department to drink. <laughs> uh, as Jennifer was saying, we were talking beforehand, and she says, you, you hate to be the worst leak in your office. <laughs> Um, so it's very difficult to, because it is 24-7 and I'm tweeting about things um, when my communications department is not at work and I'm always trying to be mindful, you know, that they're getting my tweets at the same time the rest of the world is and how are they going to feel about something that I just said that they didn't know about before. So that is uh, new, getting information, in, and Twitter and Facebook are both interactive for me. I've seen some um, politician Twitter accounts where there's, you know, 12,000 follow followers, and they're only following one person, and there's not really a discussion going on. And for me, that misses the whole purpose of it.